What's up, Film Jammers? This week, we're taking a look at something that I don't think gets talked about enough. Film schools don't teach it, and a lot of people getting into film and photography ask me about it. I'm talking about the business side of film and photography work. So we're doing it right here, right now, in a new segment we're calling Biz Jams. Biz Jams. Ooh. So in future episodes, we'll cover some different aspects of running your own production company or photo studio. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a world-class quote to get more jobs. And you can quote me on that. Film so the business side of filmmaking or photography, the belly of the beast. Knowing more about the business side is something that can set you apart from other people competing for jobs. And it's what can either help you pay your bills or have you eaten shrimp flavored ramen noodles every day of the week. I've been there. And it's just flavoring, it's not real shrimp. Mm. Creating a quote or a proposal is oftentimes your first interaction with a potential client. It might not seem important, but they're seeing how you present yourself and how you present the image of your company. I recommend using a professional accounting software like QuickBooks to generate your quotes. This will enable you to add your logo and will look more professional than just creating something in Microsoft Word or Excel. I don't even want to talk about WordPad. Don't go there. Okay, I'm gonna give you five tips when creating a quote for a new job. Is it time for five tips? I think it is. So when I'm interacting with a potential customer, I like to ask them if they have a budget in mind before I begin working on my quote. I'd say about 50% of the time, clients do have a rough budget in mind and they'll share that with me. Use this information to your advantage. If they give you a ballpark price, you can now use it to create your quote so you know not to be too high or too low. If you're competing with other vendors, they might not ask this. So use it as an edge to help you get more business. One thing that I like to do early on in the conversation with a new client is clarify the scope of the project. I always like to know a few basic pieces of info before I send my quote. One, how many days of shooting are involved? Is it a one day shoot or am I traveling to Mexico on a cruise ship for a week? Two, what are the final deliverables? Is it 50 edited photos or one three minute video? Does it need voiceover? Is it 1080p or 4K? Knowing these deliverables will greatly help you define the parameters of the project. Three, what crew members and equipment are needed? Is this a one man band type of project or one lady band? Or is the client expecting a full film crew? Do they need just one camera or are they expecting a multi-camera setup? Sometimes clients don't know the scope and that's okay. Having this conversation allows me to figure out with them what their needs are and oftentimes helps them better understand the costs. I get a lot of calls where people say, I need a two minute video, how much does that cost? And the answer is it could cost 2,000, it cost 20,000, it could cost 200,000. Depends on what they want and what their expectations are. Do they want Orlando Bloom to lather his luscious locks in their shampoo commercial? At a decimal point, all three, been there. Oh yeah, me and Big O, we go way back. Hey. So define the scope of the project early on. The client will know what they're getting and you will know what you need to deliver. Okay, so now that you've got your scope and you have a rough idea of the budget, now it's time to sit down and plug into your quote what you're gonna be doing. When I'm putting a proposal together, I like to itemize everything I'm bringing, which means listing each crew member and piece of gear that I plan to use. Itemizing like this does two things. One, it gives the client the option to add or remove items from the quote. For example, maybe if they decide they didn't need a second camera, they can remove that from the quote. Once removed, your quote may now be less than Johnny Boy's photos down the street who only offered one lump sum in his quote. Sorry, Johnny, congratulations, you got the job. But no, you didn't actually get the job. It was just hypothetical. But you might in the future. Mm. Follow these tips. Hey, Film James, that was my job. I'm Johnny from Johnny Boy's Photos, and I approve this message. Subscribe to johnnyboysphotos.org on, on YouTube because uh, you can come check me out. All sorts of videos, all sorts of great <laughs> Number two, itemizing your gear may set you apart from other people quoting the job. For example, if they're using outdated equipment and you're using a brand new cinema camera, now the client can look at your quote and see apples to apples what you're offering when you itemize it. If they find out the other company was planning to shoot on an iPhone 3G and you're coming in with a nice new cinema camera, that's only gonna help your cause. On the flip side, if you're the guy with the iPhone, well, so letting your client see exactly what you're offering by itemizing and what other companies are quoting will let them know who offers a better value. I always like to be transparent with my clients so they know exactly what they're getting and it normally works out better for everyone that way. So itemize your quote and make sure your clients know what they're getting from you. 
Okay, so after I've tallied up my quote and I've itemized my crew and my gear, I always add on disclaimers to my quote. These disclaimers will let your potential client know what you're expecting from them and any notes about working with you. I put a little asterisk and make sure that they see it on the quote. For example, I always add a disclaimer that I require a 50% deposit upfront for all work. I also add on that if the shoot goes over six hours that my crew will be fed. And you can add on other things that fit your business. For example, maybe insurance requirements for rentals or defining the length of your workday or what payment forms you accept, etc. By adding these disclaimers, you'll have less confusion later and your client will know what to expect. And if there's any issue, you can talk it through with them before you get to set. Always have a signature section and a date, so you have a place where your client can sign when they approve the quote. Having a signed document in hand is extremely important. I learned that the hard way. I did a job for a client and didn't have a signed proposal, and I lost almost $10,000. I had to pay all of my crew and all of the equipment rentals for a three-day shoot. The client never paid. I hired a lawyer, I hired a collection agency, nothing. So I did have emails and texts from the client, but nothing held up because I didn't have a signed agreement. Always, always, always have a signed quote or proposal before you begin your work. Even if you have to bring it to set with you before you start, and whether it's for a friend or a huge company. I've come across crazy situations in a variety of circumstances, so protect yourself. Another benefit of the signed proposal is you have everything in writing. It's not always as extreme as the other example, but I've had situations where the client thought we were working a 12 hour day, but we had agreed to a 10 hour day. So I showed them the proposal that they had signed and we were able to earn our overtime after 10 hours, as detailed in the quote. Sometimes people forget conversations, but signed quotes are forever. Also diamonds. Fellas, hmm? if any of you fellas wanna gift me one, my size is a big seven. <laughs> Hmm. All right, well, I hope this look at creating a successful quote was helpful. May it shower you in many jobs. And keep a lookout as we'll be doing more of these biz jams, biz jams in the future to help you on the business side of things for film and photography. Let us know down in the comments if you found it helpful and if you have any other tips. I invite you to like and subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Will you subscribe to me, big boy? Are you robbing us? Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a world quest, quest, a world quest quote, a world quest quote.